sa kadagahan nila giistorya o giyaw-yaw. Baho na kay ang maig. Pakpak gamay. Katawa gamay. Pakpak usab gamay. Tinuod siya di ay na amoy gamay. This woman standing in front of you, this is Kirk Vertodazu Pop Yalek, fresh, 21-year-old stunner. And I am your reigning brilliant queen, first ever Tondo Fairy Queen, your queen glamorosa Philippines, and your newly crowned Miss Gay Philippines. Opo. Ako nga po. This is Kirk Popyolek representing Roses are red, Violets are blue. Come visit Fontana Blue! This is Kirk Vertodazu Popyolek saying, If you think you like me, come and text me. 0965-5588. Seven seven one again, sir. Nine six five 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 eight eight seven seven one. Once again, sir. Nine six five 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 eight eight seven seven one. For the very last time, sir. Nine six five 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 eight eight seven one. Open to all TM and Globe subscribers. Malinyo sa makalawa. Tuition nyo, abot ko na. Thank you. to be awarded by Kim Dial and Mrs. Nelda Veloso. Our Miss Photogenic is candidate number... Number Siga! Number! Wait, i -re reveal natin ang picture. Okay, let's see. Yes. Okay, do the honor, please. Do we have the picture revealed? Ayan. Candidate number 11! Kirk Bertodasso Popiolic! Asaan ang mga fans ng number 11? Number 11, magingay! Congratulations, candidate number 11. And the next award is Best in Production Number. Who would it be, guys? Sino sa tingin nyo, guys? Sino sa tingin mo yung best in production number natin? Ako di ko nakita. Sila magagaling eh. Nasa likod ako. Okay, hasaan? Who do you think is the next awardee?
best in swimsuit is candidate number. Best in swimsuit is to be awarded by Honorable Dr. Adrian Salcedo and Nazitas J. Salcedo. See the best, you guys. Candidate number. Best in swimsuit number. We have number six, ten, eleven. Okay, the judges have spoken. The best in swimsuit is candidate number. Candidate number eleven. Congratulations, focus. Okay, the next award is... Our best in evening gown. Tapos yeah. na po. Tapos Boy, wave na. na kayo. Ah, okay na po. Number balik, one. Balik na po kayo. Number one, alis na. <laughs> uy, uy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's do this. Let's go back to our job. Okay, the next award is, John? Best in evening gown. So, bet you guys? Sigaw nyo. Number. Meron na number two. Okay, the lady who captured, of course, elegance and poise to be awarded by... Best in long gown is to be awarded by Aubrey May Perez and Carla Salvania. Do the honor. So our best in long gown is candidate number... It's you again, candidate number 11. 11. Congratulations, Kirk Alberto Dasso Popiolic. Candidate number 11, the pride of Cagayan de Oro. She really captures the heart of the judges. Stunner. So our next award is Bell, your Queen of the Night. So, sino kaya sa tingin nyo, guys? By Harden or... Our Bell, your Queen of the Night goes to candidate number... Once again, candidate number 11! Candidate number 11 is Dr. Alvin Skincare. And candidate number 3 is Bell Belcur, Queen of the Night. So, oh, candidate, candidate, number candidate number 3. three. It's okay, both of them has an award. Ayan. Okay. Congratulations. Okay, it's time to be corrected. Let's do this. <laughs> Dr. Alvin very Skincare. Well so, candidate number 3 is... Our very Queen of the Night. And candidate number 11 is our... Dr. Skin Care, our Alvin Clinic. Okay, yeah. congratulations to the both of you once again, Asan! Palakpaka! Hello, oh, Kurt! Popiolik! Hi, na, Kurt! Hinaakot niya, no? Hello, Mat Mat. I'm just so happy to see you here in my hometown. Thank you so much for coming. And good luck! You have a lot of a future to go. <laughs> okay, we're rooting for you for the next and uh, uh, more national pageant. Anyway, without a bias, let's do this. Your hashtag is John. Your hashtag is Matatag Curriculum. Hashtag Matatag Curriculum. Hashtag Matatag Curriculum is a new curriculum that is formed by the government to create a strong curriculum, not just for everyone, but for everybody's safety and, of course, everybody's welfare. This Matatag curriculum aims to promote a community that is safe for everyone and that is strong for everyone, regardless you are an LGBTQ community member or you are male or female. Matatag curriculum is with us and it will make us stronger at lakas tatag. Because I always believe, ladies and gentlemen, Nula Tinachi and Via Esvia for the tenacious 
no road is impossible. Muchísimas gracias y vaya con Dios. Thank you and God bless us all. Thank you. Candidate number 11. Number 11, come on. Seryoso na lahat. Hi, Nak. It's quite a pressure. Okay, here in my hands are the envelopes. Dito nakapaloob ang mga pangalan. Horado, the judge's name. So choose your judge. Good luck, Nak. Okay. You pick Sophia Grace Harden. Ma'am Sophia? Sophia Grace? Sophia Grace. Harden. Okay. Ma'am Sophia, this is candidate number 11. And uh, the question, please. My question for you tonight. Drag is art. Drag is self-expression. And more importantly, drag is freedom. However, the recent viral performance of the drag queen Pura Luca Vega imitating Poong Nazareno in their Ama Namin viral performance has led to them being declared persona non grata in various cities in the Philippines, including Cagayan de Oro City. As a proud member of the LGBTQIA community, what impact do you believe this will have on your image and your pursuit of equality? Can you repeat the question, Ms. Sophia? Drag is art, drag is self-expression, and more importantly, drag is freedom. However, the recent viral performance of the drag queen, Pura Luca Vega, imitating Poong Nazareno in their Ama Namin viral performance, has led to them being declared persona non grata in various cities in the Philippines, including Cagayan de Oro City. As a proud member of the LGBTQIA plus community, what impact do you believe this will have on your image and your pursuit of equality? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. As an LGBTQ community member myself, and a drag queen fan. I lived my whole life together with my drag sisters. And I've always believed that the idea of doing drag, it's an art and an expression. Now the question is, what impact does it make toward, uh, towards us LGBTQ community members? Number one, the street community will generalize the idea that we members of the LGBTQ community are mocking the religion side. Second, we LGBTQ community are not thinking of how we express ourselves in the public. And lastly, the third one, people will think that we have no respect on ourselves. That's why they can't respect us. And I think the best way to eradicate this issue and to think what can we do best to strive hard and make the straight community think about us more again is that number one, simple. Think about how we express ourselves. Because ladies and gentlemen, we have the two types of freedom of expression. It is a right and a responsibility. A right in a way that we can do whatever we want in the society. We can express who we are, but we must not forget that it is also our responsibility to be mindful and cautious of what we are doing so that we cannot disrespect the people, especially in the religion community. And I believe that we do not have the right to mock the beliefs of other people. Because as long as we respect each other, as long as we understand each other, there will be this world full of love and full of appreciation. And one day, hoping one day, why we LGBTQ community members can be accepted in the whole society. Thank you and good evening. Ladies and gentlemen, candidate number 11, Kirk Bertudasso, popular. Candidate number 11! <laughs> Congratulations, no.
number 11 for entering the top three. There we have it. Congratulations, IR. Candidate number three. Angel, thank you so much. We love you. Ladies, good luck. Okay, compose yourself now. This is the final question and answer. Ladies. question so we only have 45 seconds to answer and you will be asked with the same question so are you ready I have no choice but I have to be ready and do not look at his eyes <laughs> joke okay Nakshi relax the final question is how different the world would be if a member of the LGBTQIA plus community is to govern the world and what difference will you create as a legacy that symbolizes your strength? Once again, how different the world would be if a member of the LGBTQIA plus community is to govern the world. And what difference will you create as a legacy that will symbolize your strength? Your 45 seconds starts now. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. If an LGBT member will govern the world, I think that the greatest um, significant change that we can notice, it would be a wonderful and creative world. Because we all know for a fact that LGBTQ community members are giving colors to the society. Let us not forget that we members of the LGBTQ community, we are a combination between men and women. We have this men instinct and an emotional heart like women. And if we use this as our tool to govern the world, I think it would be a better place because not just we think what is right, but we will also have the heart to serve for our humanity and for our people. Because I believe, just like what Miss Kate Espinosa said, it's not about the gender, it's about the service of people. Thank you. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, right in time, candidate number 11, Kirk. Bertudasa, Popiolic. <laughs> That's good. Excellent. We would like to request the two remaining candidates. And again, reminding the supporter, the judge's decision is final and irrevocable. Let's see if it's candidate number 11. Sinus number 11. Palakpakan! Number eight! Okay. I will announce the winner. Direct, the winner na agad. Okay, the winner. We will be announcing the winner, okay? The queen of Hasaan. Okay. The one who will not be called is the first runner-up. Okay, ang tatawagin na namin ay ang nanalo. Sabay-sabay tayo, ha? Ladies and gentlemen, Queen of Asaan 2023 is candidate number 11! That means that our first runner-up is... Candidate number 8 is Queen our of first runner-up! Congratulations, Kirk Bertudasso! The crowning of the one and the only candidate number... Eleven. Eleven. We have a song. Twenty twenty three is Miss.